Okay, I'll be brief. Somebody asked me to make a video tutorial teaching people how to use this add-on. For the visual learners, this is an add-on meant for people who make add-ons to help them find files in their add-ons that the base game already contains so that they can easily track them down and delete them to make their stuff lighter. The first thing you have to do is start the game and get into a map, any map, preferably in single player. This is GM Abstraction, by the way. Open the console. Type Redundant. These four console commands should appear in the recommendation box. First, you use Get Add-ons. This will list all add-ons that you have installed and enabled, including those of your add-ons folder via the legacy method. Then, you use Redundance, Get Games. This one will list the games that you have installed and mounted, including the defaults. As of recently, Gmod is now including Counter-Strike and Half-Life 2's episodes. Ain't that awesome. Now, this is the command that will do most of the heavy lifting for you. Redundance, check add-on against game. Copy the name of an add-on, like this one. Make sure you include the quotation marks. Paste it here, space, copy the name of a game, and paste it here. You can put the name of the game first and then the add-on, but the search will come out slower. Press enter. Bam! It just found a bunch of files that exist in both the add-on and in the base game. You will have to go to this path and delete the file yourself, because Gmod add-ons cannot delete files. If they could, that would be a security risk. Now, some maps embed files in the BSP file. To detect those, you'll need special treatment. You'll have to start a new game on that map, open the console and type redundance, check map against game, and the name of the map. Press enter. Bam! It just found a bunch more files. By the way, you can use redundance check add-on against game to check add-ons against each other for repeated content. That works. And one last thing, thank you lot very much for bringing this add-on to the front page of the workshop in record time. I'm pretty sure this will get this add-on in front of as many eyes of as many map makers as possible and probably get them to de-bloat their stuff. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this useful. Bye bye.